Alrighty, welcome again. My name is Robert Anderson, and this time I'll be walking you through interfacing with your contacts with your CRM. So this is the new Infusionsoft interface. And again, we'll be adding a lot of functionality to this in the coming updates. Um, the goal here is to help you know how to manage your contacts. So some actions you can take, and I'll dive, I'll just show you how to interface with the contacts. Some of the actions I'll dive into more in depth uh, in separate recordings so that you you can kind of separate that. So as you can see, uh, my main menu here is on the left. And what I want to show you is if I go to contacts, how can I do things with contacts as I need to? So I've already shown you how to upload contacts by adding and importing in a separate recording. I'm not going to dive into that too much, but let's say I want to edit Bugs Bunny's phone number. So I'm going to click into his name. And you'll see lots of little icons, right? The default is contact activity. Since we'll be updating to be very action, in an, to be an action-oriented feed, uh, you'll get to see email, replies, uh, maybe just different tasks that have happened with this individual, clicks. We'll want to see a feed of why, why you care. Um, as we integrate other things, you might see that activity here as well. Uh, where I want to go first here is in details. And we'll see the details I currently have the first and last name, the phone number, and then the email, what type of phone number we have. I can add or edit. And let's say I know the company to be Looney Tunes. I'm going to add a new one, and that's going to be Looney Tunes. Save. On the phone with these guys, they submitted a form on our website. Who knows? But I wanted to find the contact and update them. Um, doc. And owner, out of all my users in Infusionsoft, who's in charge of this person? I'm going to say IS Coaching. That's the one I log in as. I don't want to mess with anyone else. And let's say I have a phone number, um, West Valley, Arizona code. Okay. And it is work. All right. And I'm not going to get too crazy. You can create custom fields that are pertinent to your business. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it like that and save. All right. I've updated the contact. Now, just to show you some of these other buttons, now interacting with an individual person, what notes do I have for the individual? And to add more notes. So this is a note. I left a voicemail. Save. That's it. And you can see that right here. Note created. And you see the note individuals here. You have a date stamp right there as well. And you have a time stamp down here as well. So we're trying to make this convenient. Tasks, similar, instead of a note that's just a record of something that happened, tasks to note that, okay, there's some action in the future, right, that I need to complete. So something like uh, in your in your sales process, sign a contract or something like that. If it's not being automated, you can manually create it. Or if you're doing a lot of uh, training calls for someone, just create manual tasks to do some supplementary task updates. Calendar will just be appointments. So I add an appointment to them. I'm going to meet with them in person. Uh, manually and then email you can compose a, a plain text basic email just checking in with them right here or see their email history down there as well in contact activity now files is pretty self-explanatory any files that are relevant to bugs bunny some some ways i've seen this some customers have used like their hr kind of things like recruiting or hiring in their app and they'll upload resumes to these files or if you have a recruiting small business for example uh, contracts uh, pictures, anything like that. So campaigns, now this will be important. Anything in a campaign is automated, right? You can see where they're actively being automated to or followed up with, right? What's coming next already based on what they're in. And pretty much that's all you really need to see there. And again, just, just really reiterating, everything that they're going through will be in contact activity as a little timeline. You get to see what they've gone through. That'll be very handy as you're trying to follow up with them. Now, lastly, tags. Uh, the way tags work is that they're, they're labels for contacts. They can be used to start or stop campaigns or advance in campaigns as a goal, meaning if you have this tag applied freshly to your record, you're going to move forward in automation. This is useful when segmenting your list. Let's say you have a contact us form with three questions. Why, why do you want us to call you out, call you back? I'm looking to apply, let's say a realtor. I'm a buyer, I'm a seller, or I just have general questions. Well, if you're a buyer, let's go ahead and tag you and not only follow up on your contact us, 
but maybe send you a, a couple of emails following up on just a buyer best things to prepare or invite you to opt into something else. Tags are just very versatile for that. Additionally, they can be used as sticky labels, meaning this is information that's really useful for the contact that, that doesn't have to occupy a field. It's just there for them. And lastly, billing information you have for them. Uh, when you have orders uh, processed for them, you'll be able to see this. And this will see a lot of love here in the next coming updates as well. So lastly, just I did show this in the last recording, but I can apply a tag to the contact very easily. For example, I know I've already applied rabbit, but let's say he's test, apply tag to bugs. He has those two tags on his record, and I can easily remove that as well. So the only other thing I want to show you is, okay, I'm interfacing with one contact. What if I want to do multiple contacts? I'm going to go ahead on the left sidebar, click in contacts again, and I can select all with the top left checkbox, or just go ahead and select just a few of these. So these are some test contacts I updated uh, via import. And you'll see this blue bar show up at the bottom. For six contacts, what am I doing? I want to add or remove a tag, for example. Just as I did for bugs, I can say customer tags, new customer, apply tag. And you'll see a little black uh, label here behind my recording things, tag applied to contact record. Just so you're aware, you can also send the broadcast or manually add them to a campaign here, directly into a sequence, which will follow up more later. So those are some basic actions, and you'll likely see this improve as well with all the different options you can use. Anyway, that's it for now for interfacing with your CRM. Just getting a basic feel for dealing with your contacts and how they look in the new interface, and also how to just quick add uh, some actions to one contact or multiple contacts. Thank you.